Hey you guys, what is up? Bailey R here. And today I'm continuing my CD collection with part 3. Um, so yeah, I actually was planning on probably doing an album review today, but I'll either do that probably tomorrow or Tuesday or some point this week. So yeah, so uh, yeah, let's just go from where we left off. Now in part two, we ended with the Beatles, and here in part three, we are starting with the Beatles. This is uh, their album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah, uh, really damn good album. Uh, I don't know if I'd say this is my favorite by them, but I definitely like it quite a bit. And yeah. So yeah, like I said, Beatles is uh, one of my favorite bands from like the 60s and shit and all that. So yeah. And uh, my favorite songs on here are definitely uh, uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. I really love that song. And I think, and I'm pretty sure the lyrics there are about taking acid or something. Uh, with a little help from my friends, getting better. Yeah, I really like this album. Next is a, another non-metal album in here. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, artists that incorporates like hip hop and rap into their music. This is the Beastie Boys with I believe their debut album, uh, Licensed to Ill. Yeah, I absolutely love the Beastie Boys. I've loved the Beastie Boys for years now. And yeah. I like the, you know, sets up the plane. That's what the inside looks like. So yeah, like I said, I've always loved the Beastie Boys. I've loved them since I was a little kid. And yeah, they'll always be one of my favorite non-metal bands. My favorite songs in here are, uh, there's a lot of them. Um, Girls, Slow Ride, Fight for Your Right, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. The fucking guitar solo in that song is absolutely sick, and that actually might be my favorite Beastie Boys song ever. So yeah, absolute classics on this album. Now next, getting back into uh, metal. Uh, this is an album from 2014 that a lot of people raved about, and for good reason. It's definitely a very good album. This is um, Behemoth with their album The Satanist. Yeah. Um, if you're an extreme metal fan, I don't need to tell you who Behemoth are. Because I'm pretty sure most likely you know who Behemoth are. So you see the CD comes in this. And it comes in this pretty, like, thick booklet. Like a bunch of, um, artwork and symbols and stuff. And there's like a verse from the Bible for each song. The lyrics, though, are unfucking readable So I can't read the lyrics at all. I think it still looks pretty cool. There's also a DVD. The only thing I don't like about this packaging, though, is that it's one of those, like, things where I have to yank the CD out like this. See? Other than that, though, yeah. But this is a fan-fucking-tastic album. And, of course, this is their... Uh, one of their albums from when they've gone black into death metal, because, of course, they start up as, like, a straight-up black metal band. And, yeah, I love all... Uh, both eras of Behemoth, so yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely my favorite songs in here. Of course, Blow Your tr Trumpets, Gabriel. Um, where is it? Ben Sahar, O Father, O Satan, O Son. Really good album. Next is by, honestly, a band that's becoming one of my favorites. This is Between the Bear to Me with their 2015 album, Coma Ecliptic. This is sadly all I own by them. I've had many chances to get more stuff by them, but I never took it for some reason. I don't know why, because I love this band. So yeah. Um, here's the inside and stuff. It's like a digibook, and here's a booklet. There's a CD. So yeah. But yeah, I love Between the Bear and Me. And even though these guys get a lot of love, they kind of also, in a way, get a lot of hate because they add metalcore into their music, which, um, I don't give a shit. But they add a lot of genres to music, like, 
yeah, progressive metal, tech death, metal core, like a bunch of shit. And I think it's fantastic. And honestly, had this pretty low on my end of the year list last year. I definitely should have had it ranked higher. My favorite songs in here are The Coma Machine, Node, um, Memory Palace. Very good album. Next is uh, by my all-time favorite tech death band as of right now. This is Earthborn Evolution by Beyond Creation. I've seen these guys live twice. They're, uh, they were great both times. And of course, this is by Season Mist, so it has that annoying fucking sticker on the jewel case. It's whatever, though. Just wish Season Mist would stop doing that. But yeah. But yeah, if you're into Tech Death at all, I'm pretty sure you know this band. And they're not, and of course, they're not one of those Tech Death bands that, that gets overbearing and is like too over technical. Because even though I really like Tech Death, that is my biggest problem with it. Some bands go way over the top with how technical they are and it becomes overbearing. But Beyond Creation, in my opinion, balance it out perfectly. And they're one of my favorite bands. My favorite songs in here are Sos la Lord de la Emperor. Hopefully I said that right. Earthborn Evolution. Uh, theatrical Delirium. Fundamental Process. Oh, it's been fucking tastic so. It's an amazing album. Um, and here's another album from 2014 by one of my favorite straight up death metal bands. This is a uh, Grand Morbid Funeral by Bloodbath. Yeah, a uh, very great Swedish death metal band that is well respected in the death metal scene. Of course, though, this is their first album with uh, Nick from, I believe, Paradise Lost. The band members. And uh, yeah, here's the CD. But yeah, I love Bloodbath, and this is a very great album. I'd just say um, probably their second album, Nightmares Made Flesh, is still my favorite, but I, I still love this too. Favorite songs are Let the Stillborn Come to Me, Total Death Exhumed, Famine of God's Word. Great stuff. Next is uh, by a band that pretty much everyone knows in the extreme metal world. This is the Black Dolly Murder with their album Nocturnal. Very good stuff. Uh, not, by, not my favorite by them by any means, but still pretty damn good. Um, yeah, the album artwork is very dark, though, so, yeah. But yeah, this is still pretty damn good stuff, and of course we all know who the Black Dolly Murder is. Very wide no a uh, very uh, well-known melodic death metal band, so yeah. And I think this might have the first song I ever heard by them, which is What a Horrible Night to Have a Curse. I love that song. My other favorites on here are the title track, Climatic De Degradation. Yeah, great stuff. Next is their 2013 album, Ever Black. This is another album I got by Mike a while back. Pulls up like this. It's a really glossy digi pack. And I love the artwork for this album. So yeah. But yeah, this is fucking killer shit. One of my top ten favorites from 2013, and I absolutely fucking love this album and I don't know if I'd say this is my favorite by them, but it's definitely a very close second, if not my favorite. Uh, so, fucking yeah. Favorite songs on here are In Hell is Where She Waits for Me, Goat of Departure, um, Map of Scars. Great stuff. And I also have their latest album, Abysmal. Again, fucking killer artwork, like... It literally looks like hell is being unleashed. Another glossy digipack that opens up like this. So yeah. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, it's just Black Dolly Murder being Black Dolly Murder, and uh, yeah, really nothing to complain about for me. For me, another great album. I had this in my top twenty of the year last year. Favorite songs in here are Vlad, a Son of the Dragon, Threat Level Number Three. The Fog, pretty damn good stuff. And the last album for this uh, part 
is a 2016 album. This is Winter Thrice by Borknagar. One of my favorites from this year. Um, I absolutely love the artwork in here. That is... Uh, it also came with a patch, which is really cool. So, yeah. But yeah, I absolutely love this album. Definitely probably going to be in my top 20 of the year. There's like parts where it's like black metal and then there's even some folky parts in there and it's very good. Favorite songs in here are The Rhymes of the Mountain, the title track, Panorama. Great shit. So yeah guys, that's part three to my CD collection. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you want, let me know what you thought of part three in the comments down below. So yeah. So I will see you guys later, and thank you for watching me guys, and thank you for liking and subscribing to me guys. I mean, thank you for liking my videos, and watching them, and subscribing to me guys. I really do appreciate it. And you guys are fucking awesome. So, see you guys next time. Bye.